Ghana's health sector has made significant progress over the last two decades with access and insurance coverage. However, the COVID-19 pandemic has exposed some long-standing weaknesses in the healthcare system. Notable among them are the limited number of health facilities and their capacities to accommodate the numbers, especially on the regional level. The 2022 budget allocated 6.7 billion cities to the health sector, down from 8.5 billion in 2021, but up on 7.4 billion cities in 2020. This followed criticism of the country's lack of preparedness for the COVID-19 pandemic. Despite this strife, the country still lacks the resources to improve quality healthcare delivery. By 2021, 33.9% of private and public hospitals were available to urban localities in Ghana, while only 1.9% of the rural communities had access to such hospitals. Delivering the fifth inaugural lecture at the University of Ghana on the theme, The Pursuit of Health Amidst Scarcity, Economics, Health and the Romance in Between. If COVID-19 alone could lead to the closure of schools, in Uganda for close to two years. And we are yet to evaluate the longer term impact of such closure on the kids' outcomes. Should that not be enough, together with all the losses, to help us spend more on health? We need to let this prompt us to ponder and to continue putting, providing the needed evidence to government so that our health spending would, would, would rise. Professor Justice Novingo noted that improved infrastructure, more trained professionals, and refresher professional courses or programs will help accelerate Ghana's healthcare delivery system. Say we want to see malaria truly eradicated in Ghana, or we want to see the burden of mental health or communicable diseases or neglected tropical diseases alleviated. Let us introduce special programs for these one or two of these in our special programs. Now is the time for Africa to espouse commitment and ownership of her own health, boldly pursuing innovative health financing mechanisms to raise the needed domestic resources and decrease donor dependence. We need to place health at the heart of economic development. The Faith in Series inaugural lecture was attended by some members of parliament, key players in the health industry and executive council members of the University of Ghana.